welcome back everyone to another lecture in our maintenance and reliability course. In this lecture, we will learn about the definitions and the main concepts of maintenance. In this lecture, we are going to have a brief introduction about the science of maintenance management. But before that, let's start first by understanding the concept of maintenance. Maintenance is defined as activities required to be undertaken to conserve as long as possible the original condition of an asset. Also, it could be defined as the actions necessary for retaining or restoring a piece of equipment, machine, or system to the specified operable condition to achieve its maximum useful life. By paying attention to those definitions, we can notice that maintenance is not the same as repair, because the asset doesn't necessarily have to be broken down or failing for us to carry out the maintenance. However, we carry out those activities to conserve the original condition of the asset, or to prolong its lifespan. In order to have better understanding of this topic, we are going to discuss one of the most famous curves in maintenance, which is called the PF curve. PF curve is a relation between time and the performance of an equipment. Here, we can see those limits. First, we have the design level of performance, and we have the minimum acceptable level of performance. The equipment doesn't necessarily have to be operating at the same exact design performance level. However, it shall start operating at slightly lower level, and this depends on how efficient was the design and the manufacturing process of that equipment. At a certain point, we can see that the performance of the equipment will start to deteriorate, and the starting point here is what we call P, which stands for potential failure. The deterioration will keep going till the performance level goes lower than the minimum acceptable level of performance, and this is what we call F, which stands for function failure, because it means that this equipment right now can't deliver the minimum required output we need out of it. Maintenance process is carried out through the whole life of the equipment, and any maintenance we carry out in this zone is what we call planned maintenance because it has been carried out without a functional failure on the equipment already, while any maintenance carried out within this zone is what we call unplanned maintenance, or it is also called corrective maintenance, because basically it was a repair task that has been carried out after a failure has already occurred. In maintenance management, we aim to minimize the reactive maintenance as much as possible and being proactive as much as possible. Normally, we aim to have not less than 80% of the maintenance activities as planned maintenance and less than 20% of the maintenance activities as reactive maintenance. In the last slide and through this course, we will keep repeating a very important term, which is called proactive. So what do we mean by being proactive? Being proactive is simply to act before a situation becomes a source of confrontation or a crisis. And in order to be proactive, we need to start thinking and acting ahead, as we don't want to wait till the failure occurs to start dealing with it. And to achieve that, we need to treat root causes of any problem instead of just treating the visible symptoms. We mentioned earlier in this lecture that we want to be proactive as much as possible. But why do we want to be? Why can't we just wait till any equipment fails, then we start fixing it? And this is because corrective maintenance has many cons that we want to avoid. Equipment failure can lead to confusion during repair due to lack of technical information. And this is because laborers will start working on spot without prior knowledge or plan of the issue, which means they need to start checking and investigating every possibility before finding out the reason behind the failure. And once the source of the failure is identified, it is very probable that you will not have available spare parts or even qualified laborers for that specific task, which means you need to wait till you order the required spare parts, which could be time consuming. During the wait time for the spare part, the equipment is shut down already, which means you will have more downtime, and this means that the duration that the equipment is not in operation and producing whatever outcome required from that piece of equipment, which means waste of money and time to the facility. In addition to that, waiting for any part to fail can have other consequences in terms of collateral damage, 
which could be through causing other parts or other equipment also to fail, or even by risking the lives or the well-beings of the operators. And finally, waiting for the equipment to fail to maintain it is always more costly than properly maintaining the equipment and preventing the failure in the first place. So now we understand that maintenance is not just fixing equipment, but the job of maintenance is to provide a reliable and safe plant or facility for the least operating cost. And this is by ensuring equipment reliability, and we are going to discuss in detail what do we mean by reliability in the next lectures. Minimizing operating costs, and this is by avoiding equipment failure, unplanned maintenance, and the collateral damage. Maximizing the productivity, and this is by minimizing the equipment downtime to the lowest possible level and avoiding time wastage. Defect elimination, and this is by being proactive and through finding out the root causes of failures. And later in this course, we will have a full chapter dedicated to root cause analysis and how do we carry it out. Also, maintenance aims to mitigate risks and to avoid failures. Here we can see what we call the maintenance cost iceberg. And this is because the visible part above the water is always the maintenance cost. This is why many companies or facilities have poor maintenance process, because they focus on that visible part here on the top of the water. However, what you don't see here is the hidden part of that iceberg, which includes production unavailability, machine unavailability, poor process capability, poor safety and regulation compliance, and waste capital and inflated cost. This is why if you think about it, you will find that maintenance cost is actually an investment to increase the productivity and the profitability of the plant or the facility. Through the years, maintenance went through different generation. In the first generation, it was completely relying on corrective maintenance, which means that the only task of maintenance team was to wait for the equipment to fail and to start fixing after the failure has already occurred. In the second generation, people started realizing the importance of preventive maintenance. Hence, scheduled maintenance started to be adopted, which was time-based. In the third generation of maintenance, preventive maintenance started to get more advanced, and instead of just being time-based, we started to have condition-based maintenance, in addition to reliability center maintenance, which we are going to explain in detail in next chapters. And finally, now we are in the fourth generation of maintenance, which relies on the big data and the Internet of Things, trying to eliminate all defects from its source through root cause analysis, and we are going to explain all of that in the next chapters. So now, we have a basic understanding about what is the meaning of maintenance, and what is our vision from the maintenance process. In our next chapters, we are going to dive into more details about the maintenance management process. So, this is it for our lecture today. See you in our next lectures. Thank you. Thank you.